Bouldering is a sport where you climb without the aid of ropes. It's really taking off. In fact, it became an Olympic sport in Tokyo. This innovation is all about making bouldering more accessible. Angus, I haven't heard of bouldering till just now. Is, it, is that just me? <laughs> no, no, it's not just you, but it is becoming far more popular. And, uh, and I think as time goes on, you'll see more of these outdoor structures popping up everywhere, so it'll be far more recognisable. We've created, designed and built these structures all in our Melbourne factory. Right, I can't wait to dive into the weeds. So Angus, these pieces are going uh, out next week. Yes, this one is completely finished and ready to go on a truck to Queensland. Well, it's kind of like a bouldering ballet going on here. It, it is, it's like this quite often when we're creating the structures and bringing them together. What's this material? It's a high pressure laminate. We use it a lot in these applications because it's very robust. Everything about it needs to be able to withstand the environment. So Rom, you're a, a root setter. What on earth is a root setter? So root setters are the people that will come to a climbing wall and arrange those climbing holes in a specific way to create the climbs that will allow people to get to the top. For instance, here we have a blue climb, which uses all these blue holes, yeah. and uh, it's a relatively easy climb. While on the other hand, if you look over there, we got that black climb, the holes are still pretty good, but look, it's like literally oh upside down climbing. Hey, look, the black looks like a, a nightmare. <laughs> it would be for some people. Can I have a go? Yeah, please have a go. I, so, I think should I'll we try the with blue. the blue? Yeah, yeah, let's try with the blue. Good job. <laughs> Good root setting. Here we are in Bouldering Design HQ, and I can see, Stuart, already how you're achieving this, components. That's right. What you're playing with there is a monolith. All these shapes have different names. If we add a pillar to a monolith, that is a Goliath. Ah, uh, yes. If we add a joiner, that is a Goliath Plus. So how many structures can you create out of these five shapes? It's almost endless. Now being an engineer, I know you would have thought of things like shipping. We ship these structures complete to site on the back of a truck. Within two hours, the site's secure and kids can be climbing on it. As far as I know, we're the only people in the industry doing it this way. Harry, we're in the eastern growth zone of Melbourne here. Uh, this was a huge job for you. It has been. We've been working on it for four or five years now. Oh, wow. We actually did a master plan for this whole area, which focused on activity and teenagers. Oh, boy. Oh, you're really taking on a fight there. Do you, do you mean getting teenagers out of these houses? <laughs> we're trying our best. And you need a little bit of risk in play. You know, we don't always want slides and swings. And I think yeah. it's a great way to, to learn. It's self-awareness, hand-eye coordination, and that's where it comes from. Yeah. Councils, you know, playground inspectors and community want that as well. And we're starting to see that creep into play spaces more often. It's quite a colourful standout structure. I mean, early on in these new suburbs, that's important, isn't it? Yeah, you're exactly right. And it's an you know, important wayfinding structure. This, I think, when we first came out here, it was really flat. But this was a really important pop factor in the corner when we first started out. <laughs> so you're a big fan? Big fan of it. This is the first site that we've put a structure like this on, but we're in the business of providing activities that are adventurous, challenging, fun. I think people uh, genuinely like to, like to push themselves to achieve their full potential, and our activities are designed to do that in a way that's safe for young people. It's been popular. I was here last year and we had a camp for 5,000 young people, and I came back at sunset and watched about 20 young people sitting on top of the structure, just watching the sunset, having the time of their lives. Fantastic. I started boulding about five years ago. I was too scared to do the rope climbing, so I got on the boulders and decided I would never stop. I compete nationally and have done a few international comps as well. So yeah, it's pretty much what I do most of my time. I really like what Harry the Landscape Architect said about risk. Bouldering is a challenge activity. It rewards perseverance. The more you try, the better you get. It's kind of like life, really. Now imagine that. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more every week.